There comes a point in every man's life when he reflects on the actions of his past and he asks himself, did I just get scammed by eBay? This is kind of a weird story, so I have to put a few things out so you know what I'm talking about. One, I have a subscription to a store on eBay that gives me 250 free auction insertions a month. Two, if you use auto assign relist on eBay, you get up to eight relists for free. Three, I had most of my auctions going on April 30th and another 200 about going on May 1st. So I used my 250 from one month and then a bit more uh, a day after. So what I'm doing basically is utilizing what they're offering us in a way that I find most advantageous. I looked up on the website to see, hey, can you do auto relists? Do they cost money? Uh, and quite definitely on the page, it says, no, auto relists will not cost you money. They might go against your free insertions, but they will not cost you money. That being said, after I ran my auctions and only about I don't know, 10%, maybe 20% of the items sold, which is totally okay. That's what I was planning on happening. I priced pretty high and I wanted to just move inventory without doing like fire sale prices. I was charged a quarter for about 200 auctions. So that's not a lot of money, 50 bucks, but it's gonna happen potentially eight times, which could end up costing me $400. And I don't know about you, but when I suddenly don't make 400 bucks in a month that I thought I was gonna have, I get a little angry. Now, all that being said, I don't think I was rude to the eBay customer service person. I think they were rude to me on Facebook. I also contacted them through seller dashboard on the eBay backend. So there's a lot going on but I think that gives you everything you need to know. And you can tell me, did I almost get scammed or is this just how things work sometimes? So now let's go through the conversation and see, am I crazy? Am I being a jerk or did I almost get scammed? Okay, let's read it. Hello, I had a question. My auto relist and auctions counted against my free auction inserts. Is that correct? I was under the impression that up to eight are free. Thank you for contacting eBay. As a reminder, blah, 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 blah. Yes, that's correct. Any relist would count towards your monthly allotment. And then they asked me for feedback. So they're not free then. If you're over the monthly amount, you'd be charged. Yes, that's where I don't like the answer because it directly contradicts what they wrote on the website and i i show them with the link because i am confused am i an asshole for pushing back when i see directly contradicting information on the website uh, we mentioned on that page that they're free since it's a simplification of how the system works what does that mean what simplifies into a contradicting statement? I don't know. I don't know. I think that they're lying to me. The automatic realist option isn't always available to sellers. And when it is, it's always only for sellers who aren't likely to hit their monthly limit for free listings. And yes, we do also have this in writing, which you can see by visiting this link. And then it's a link the zero insertion fee link. Specifically, it's mentioned in the section titled the following count toward your monthly allocation of zero insertion fees, JP. The article doesn't show up when I go to this page, which is like the path before there. So basically this link that he linked to does not show up anywhere unless you search out certain things. So it's not available anywhere by just like clicking a link tree or going back or whatever, it's not available. And he says, browsing the help article only gives the most popular ones. That's a lie, that's completely a lie. So it's not a comprehensive list. You can start a search by selecting the help and contact option at the top of the page. And then he says, uh, this article shows in a search for fees. Sorry, fee, fee singular, not even fees. I looked it up, just fee singular. And I said, but not relist continuously. Uh, it seems like the only way I would have been able to find this is if I searched relist continuously, which is what I was doing, not fee. I'm not looking for information on fee. 
I'm looking for information on relist continuously. Like I'd only, the only way I would have been able to find this is if I searched relist continuously, clicked on the article titled relist items, ignored where it said that up to eight relists are free, and then clicked on the zero insertion fee link underneath the manual relisting tab. So I have to go two degrees beyond what makes sense. Again, I don't think I'm being an asshole. You tell me. Then I said, that's a pretty roundabout way to find pertinent information. True. <laughs> Undeniably true. Uh, am I going to be charged for the number of automatic relists that occurred past the 250 auctions I'm allotted with my store subscription. Yes, if we have mentioned twice before, where's the second time, JP? I saw one time. You will be charged for any relist items past your monthly free limit. If we had any way to credit these for you, we would have explored those options already. That's a lie. JP's lying to me. I think JP's trying to scam me or he's complicit in the worst customer service I've ever received. And then they say this, since we don't have any further advice to give you regarding these fees, please note that we may not reply to any further requests regarding the subject. Fuck you, JP. Good to know. That's what I said. In what case would the up to eight auto list information be true? Valid question. I really want to understand this better because it seems to me like you've got two pieces of contradicting information up on the website. Again, who's being the asshole? Me asking normal questions or JP just trying to end this customer service messaging back and forth as soon as possible, lying whenever he or she can. But that isn't the end of it. You know me, I don't like getting pushed around by odds like JP. So what did I do? I go into the eBay seller dashboard backend and I open a customer service ticket that way. So I go through the process. I escalate from the eBay help bot and I get this. Hello, welcome to eBay. My name is Jamie. Jamie? JP? Oh no. So we're talking, yada, 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 and here's what I say. I have a question about automatically relisting auction style listings. I see on the website up to eight are free. I've also been told the information's not true and that the automatic relistings will count against my allotment of free auction style listings and eventually end up costing me money. And here's what Jamie says. Here's what Jamie says. Jamie, thank you so much, Jamie. Sweet young Jamie. Jamie says, yes. That's correct. Oh, wow. Oh, and then Jamie even says, sorry for what's happening. And long story short, I'm not going to go over everything with you, but Jamie said everything's taken care of. I, you know, unfortunately, I still haven't seen the credit to my account yet, but I will update you guys. Jamie said, you know what? JP, that guy sucks. Screw him. Everything's okay. You're right, Blake. We said this. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Thank you, Jamie. JP, drive off a cliff. And so that's where we're at so far. JP tried to firebomb my business, ruin my life, destroy my legacy. Jamie was extremely helpful. I have not yet seen the credits, but I trust Jamie. Why would Jamie lie to me? Why would he do that? I'll keep you guys updated. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know below if you're not new or if you are new. Everyone, I want to know below. What do you think happened? You think this is just like, oh, businesses do business stuff and sometimes that's stupid. Or uh, is there more nefarious actions at play? I'll see you guys later.